everybody this is Ben Mizrahi again and in this video I am going to show you some of the website where you can obtain materials for evangelizing the Jewish people and evangelizing people in general and many of these websites also contain materials that will also be useful to confer to evangelize other groups of people as well um, so let us start um, the first website I want to show you is the website of the Bible Society of Israel uh, now the Bible Society of Israel is basically uh, an offshoot of the and similar to the Bible societies you have in almost every country of the world that is basically doing nothing but printing the Bible in the local languages such as Hebrew, English, Russian and Arabic which is out the, the four most widespread languages in Israel but you also have online store um, which I am going to show you with very good material I mean besides Hebrew Bible I mean, Hebrew language Bible, not Hebrew Bibles, as you know them in the English speaking world. Uh, this Bible in the Hebrew languages are, our language are actually the Old and New Testament. So it contains both part of the Bible. Let me see if the online store is. In. Yes, here it is. Now, this is some of the DVDs in books that I publish, for example, an Hebrew Spanish Bible, which maybe I should buy to improve my Spanish, um, bilingual Hebrew Old Testament with various translations, such as Hebrew, uh, sorry, such as English and Spanish and German and Russian, I've seen uh, videos about blessing, courses, how we got the Bible, uh, study tools such as Hebrew English Bible, I mean a book of prophecy in Hebrew, about the Messiah in Hebrew in English, which is great for evangelizing, um, the same but for in Arabic, which is great to evangelize Arabic people and Jews in, that still remain, the, remain in Morocco and Tunisia that speak Arabic. So that's the first website. Uh, our next website is Moz Israel. Um, this is a Christian organization that is dedicated to, besides support Israel, as you can see here, I stand with Israel. They also have in the books many resources that are useful for both evangelizing and actually preaching conservative, the all uh, conservative views. Because uh, you can see they have great evangelizing books and they also have books about the danger of Islam and the Islamic menace to humanity. So if you want to know more about the Islamic enemy and Islam in general, you have resources here in Maoz Israel. They also have, by the way, ebooks in the Hebrew language and regular books in the Hebrew language which I cannot show you, which is a shame. Uh, here are the Hebrew books. If you want to give your Hebrew speaking friends um, presents and a window of that you will come to Jesus from them, this is the place. Um, the next website is the website of Christian Witness to Israel, which is a British organization, the oldest missionary organization to Jews on the planet, by the way, was founded by the Anglican Church, and as far as I know, it is still Anglican, by the way. Um, it actually indirectly responsible for the creation of the movement now known as Messianic Judaism, which not many people know, but started actually as an offshoot of the Anglican Church. This entire movement in London in the 19th century and until the 60s, they still called them 
call themselves Hebrew Christians and not Messianic Jews and then the name was changed in the 60s for theological and political reasons which I think is a shame I still refer to myself as a Hebrew Christian or a Hebrew Lutheran since I'm Hebrew by ethnicity and Christian by religion not Jewish Judaism is a false religion just as any other false religion that rejects Christ. Um, they also have a good library here um, with articles like history of the Jewish mission, like how to be one in Christ, um, Jewish objections, how to answer the Jewish objections to, the, to Jesus. Uh, they also have online publications like an online theological journal, um, a guide for field missionary to Jews, um, sermons about the theology of Israel and uh, Jewish people, probably from a poor Jewish point of view, so beware. Um, but yeah, it has very good resources. I really recommend this website, Christian Witness to Israel. And yeah, if you're in England and you want to volunteer, I would recommend it. Yeah, that was a clue for you, for all my British viewers. Um, that hopefully will come to my channel and subscribe eventually. Um, to also have materials for download, as you can see. So it is actually one of the best websites about witnessing to and evangelizing the Jews um, that are exclusively in English and not in Hebrew, which is interesting. I've only seen um, Hebrew, dual Hebrew English websites that are so detailed so far. Uh, next website is the website of an organization we all know, probably the most famous Messianic Jewish organization on earth, Jews for Jesus um, in Israel. It's sometimes actually the name of the organization um, is synonymous with Messianic Judaism. People would often ask Messianic Jews if they are Jews for Jesus. So I forgot the exact term for it in English. Um, Oh, no, sorry, eponym. No, not eponym. Um, you know, when they called something uh, about the name, from the name of a subset of it, like how toilet paper is sometimes referred to in English as Kleenex. Um, or cereals are uh, referred to in Hebrew sometimes as cornflakes. So, yeah. So anyway, this website is very good Jewish article, uh, articles about evangelizing to Jews. Of course, that's the sole purpose of Jews for Jesus. Um, I actually found it a little racist. I mean, their policies of allowing only Jews or those who are married to Jews to engage in field work and missionary activity. But yeah, I, for the record, I think that's not okay. But they still have very good materials that we can learn from, for example, evidence for Jesus, messianic prophecies, answers, um, most of biblical studies, and so on and so forth, answering God the atheist, you know, evidence for God's existence. Yeah. How can I trust the Bible? If can I, tr can I trust the Bible? The answer is, of course, a resounding yes. And this is a proof for that. And many, many other good stuff that I personally really like. Um, also witnessing tools, especially for helping in witness. Um, like evangelistic podcasts, ebooks, testimony. Testimonies of Jews who came to the faith in Jesus. Uh, specifically to the Protestant faith, um, e-books that I guess are free because they offer them as PDF formats of testimonies and so other stuff. Uh, the next site is uh, actually similar 
I think it's the main competitor of Jews for Jesus in the niche of um, organizations that are specialized by evangelizing to Jews and run by Jews who believe in Jesus, which is Chosen People's Ministry. Um, they also have resources such as article and an online store. Uh, let us see the articles. As you can see, there are many articles. For example, as about for example about evangelism, how to do online evangelism, um, how to reach millennials, and so on and so on. Um, they also have a very good online store, which is being opened in a new page. Introducing your Jewish friend to Yeshua, to Jesus. Really don't like it when people use Yeshua instead of Jesus in English. I mean, his name is English, is Jesus. Just to a quick detour from the main topic. Um, the name Yeshua in Hebrew, it means salvation, Yeshua. But it's actually also the Aramaic version of the name Yeshua, like Yeshua in Benun. What you know in English is Joshua. So that's the Aramaic version of Joshua. The Hebrew version is Yoshua. Um, there is no such a thing, by the way, as Yashua in Hebrew. I am a native Hebrew speaker and I never hear the term Yashua anywhere in Israel. Or Yahweh or any other stuff you invent with Yah. It's something that, as far as I know, does not exist in any of the Semitic languages. Um, yeah, anyway, in Greek, the name was Jesus. I mean, Yeshua turned to Jesus. Uh, just like Yo Jonah, for example, Jonah turned to Jonas. And Elijah, Elijah, when he turned to Elias in Greek. Um, so G Yeshua, Jesus, became Jesus. Um, the Romans, of course, copied it, so it also became Jesus in Latin. Um, of course, we know it as Jesus in Spanish, Gesù uh, or Gesù in Italian, and so on and so on forth. And in English, it just became Jesus when J was introduced into the English language. There is nothing wrong with referring to Jesus as Jesus in it's certainly not pagan, it does not refer to Zeus, that's all nonsense preached by sacred name, uh, demagogues. Uh. But anyway, the books here that can help you witnessing to Jews, and that you can even give to your Jewish friends that you want to evangelize to. Uh, the next one is actually um, lesser known organizations called the Luzan Movement. So, this particular website is dedicated to the branch of the Luzan Movement that is responsible for Jewish evangelism. Uh, the Luzan Movement itself is a movement that is dedicated to missiology and evangelizing to all groups of people. Uh, this branch is the branch responsible for evangelizing the Jews and the, the papers from past conference. So. You can all view them in PDF format. As you can see, the last conference was in 2016. And they still have the articles, like nothing new under the sun, having PDF articles. Uh, those are semi-academic statements. As far as I know, or you can even consider them fuller academic statement. Let me see if they have bibliography in the end. And yes, they have their photo academic uh, papers. So, yeah, if you want to have a little bit more into to know knowledge on the academic side of missiology to Jews, as it properly called, I mean Jewish evangelism is properly called in theological terms. So that's the website. Uh, it's called the uh, Lusan Movement something. Luzan. 
and the address is www.lcje.net of course you can all I will put the links on my website which is something I actually forgot to do in the Ebo in the equivalent Ebo video which is a shame uh, next one is Kaspari Center which is a messianic Jewish organization dedicated to raise awareness in Israeli society and elsewhere to the existence of messianic Jews and their main interest for us is their magazines called Mishkan which is a magazine on Jewish, messianic Jewish issue um, the last two issues by the way were dedicated to Luther and the Jews so for me it's a Lutheran it's very interesting uh, the other the next one is the University of the Holy Land which has many paper and of course I always encourage you to study in Israel if you can and that's a great place to study um, I will go to the publication section because that's most of interest for us and the reason is because those publications are not specifically on Jewish evangelism they are all about Israel and the early Christian movement and the Jew and of course Second Temple Judaism and so which means all of the information here could come handy when you actually evangelize them to Jews in real life so it's very 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 important that you read those articles or oh, I would not say important it's not the right word it's right or very helpful uh, the next website is the website of Dr. Michael Brown now Dr. Michael Brown is one of the only people that actually self-defined as Messianic Jews which I appreciate and self-defined Pentecostal um, Usually I don't really don't like or I just say, say I have quarrels about the Pentecostal movement and aspects in it and its theology, but I really recommend this website of Dr. Michael Brown. Uh, the guy is a genius. He speaks as far as I know 15 languages, which he learn especially in order to prove to the rabbis in New York that Jesus is indeed the Messiah. Um, and of course he has a very good Facebook page which I also recommended for everyone um, and yeah besides preaching to Jews by the way and he is the author of a very recommended series of books called answering Jewish objections to Jesus um, it contains five volumes on answering the Jewish objection to Jesus um, and some of the key arguments can also be found in his YouTube channel by the way which you can access to his website this website called Ask Dr. Obama by the way uh, what I like the most is that he's very conservative so he also preach against gay acceptance in the church I mean gay pastors and acceptance of homosexual relationships and so on and is against hyper grace and prosperity theology and other destructive theologies that are infesting our church today thanks to the liberals or libtards as we shall call them so yeah, i really recommend this website for all conservatives and for all people who are interested in jewish evangelism the next website is a congregation it's an actual congregation in Missouri um, called Chai Veshalom in Hebrew by the way it means live in peace um, this organization is dedicated is actually a Lutheran church it's a Lutheran Jewish church meaning to preach the gospel to Lutheran to sorry to Jews it belongs to the Lutheran Church of America the Missouri Synods and it contains resources about Jewish evangelism um, as 
so you can see it clears books about Jewish evangelism. Okay, uh, the last one is Biola University, which is a university located, um, I forgot the name of the town, but it's very close to downtown Los Angeles. Um, the thing about this university was really recommended. First, they have online co courses and online degrees, which is now not so very uncommon, like when I first started my studies in the Open University, um, for example. But the real reason is that they uh, actually have a graduate degree on Messianic Jewish studies, which gives you tools on how to evangelize to Jewish people, you know, and how to lead congregations of Jewish believers in Jesus. As you can see, this is the programs and the courses on FA offer. In the degree, it's a Master of Divinity with a specialty in Messianic Jewish Studies. Um, anyway, that was all for today. Um, the links to all of this website um, will appear on the description. Um, I hope you enjoy. So, goodbye. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen.